recommitment. Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is this for? That's like Taxes. that thing that you showed me. Yeah, but it doesn't have any. That was the one that was done being done back in April. <clears throat> so I just wondered where are we at with a new recommitment. I have a new recommitment. I was supposed to be on your schedule. Yeah, that's oh, do you want that? It has no more. numbers on it. I know, but I think he uses right it. Right now it's something like Thursday night. Right. Yeah. Either you or Sue at five thir at five o'clock and either you or Sue at five thirty, which is all filled out. Did you cross yeah, the Yeah, all set and we met with Jeanette and she's got yeah, everything. Oh no, we're on Monday. Can you throw in front of us so we can sign it? You can. It's dollar and twenty six cents off, which I was okay oh, with. Take. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine with that, yeah. That's probably around. <clears throat> yeah, I can do that if you want. Well, I feel better with it being recommitted. Yeah, absolutely. Why? Because nobody's responsible for tax. Right now. That's <laughs> 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 me. Oh, yeah. We're in for, for Monday. Uh, yeah, what is this, you know? Computers. You have to come in and... CR CRC and computers. I see. Yeah, What's Dan wanted to go and hire somebody else because he needs some computer work done. Um, and I said, no, wait, because we've been talking to people. I don't want to hire this random guy that we're just going to end up having yeah. to have our, our other guys right. redo. And these right. are Jeanette's numbers. And a CRC mm -hmm. for, the, for the second time. <coughs> I'm sorry. Criminal <laughs> records check. Oh. Sorry. See, yeah, I don't know. My apologies. No comment. I put it on there before, so. Okay. Um, yeah, criminal receivers. <laughs> She's a dollar twenty six, but computers. it matches Jeanette's the second hmm? one. So. Plus computers. Plus computers, seven. yeah. We need to talk about the criminal records check. Right what we're going to do. Right. And what we're going to do with the criminal records checks and who you want done, when you want them done, how you want them done, and on. Um, and the. Um, computers because he needs to get somebody in there to the two stations to get some work done um, and he was gonna hire this person and I'm like wait a minute wait a minute we're trying to all be on the same page come in and let's talk to him because we've interviewed a couple of people so we put it down to talk to people okay, thank okay? you for that. yes you're welcome I'm leaving I thank you once again Good night. Good night. I know. Sorry. Sorry about the bus. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um. It looks sorry. You know. You want me to help you with anything? No, I'm okay. Thank you. You're awesome. You want that? Have a good night. Night. <coughs> you probably have it somewhere. Okay. Down my bag. Um. For me, as far as Thursday goes, I. It doesn't matter to me. The reason why I wanted to come in earlier is because Thursdays is when everyone gets out of work and they want to hit that counter. And if I'm going to be short, I need to be at that counter. shouldn't take long. Okay. I'm at four. <clears throat> so I'm thinking you at 4.15. I would like that. I would prefer before people get out of work and start coming in. So if we get Mark in at 4.15, Tommy shouldn't take long at all. I mean, that only gives me 15 minutes between the next person, but if I need to come back the yep. following Monday, I can do that. I, I'm here, so. Or later. <clears throat> later that night. Right. If you time. Okay. If we get a break. It shouldn't be too crazy Thursday because it's mid-month, right. well, but. Right now, we got you in at 4.15. We got you in again at 5.30 already. Okay, so why don't we do that? We'll we keep can it that do way. both. Yep. We can that way, if it doesn't work on 415, because yep. you may be busy out there. And he may take longer, so you never know. Yep, that's good. Okay. Sounds good. <coughs> Sounds Did you good. sign that? Yeah, that's no. for me. Yeah. I've got to sign this. <coughs> you need you. I need you to need a John Hancock. Oh, that's right. That's it's just the order. recommitment of taxes. Speaking of recommitment, then you had said you, you might have some numbers for me as far as what was coming back from the roads commission into the general fund. Oh. Yeah, <clears throat> it would be in the AP, which I didn't get a chance to look at. 
last week. <laughs> I can find it for you. <clears throat> I'll make a copy of that, though. You want? I'll yes. photocopy them right now if you want. Would you? Yep. And. Oh, you want me to keep the tapes on there? What about this? Yeah, oh. both of them. I'll put, I'm gonna, all three of them. I'll okay. photocopy them. Do you want just yeah. one, two, how many copies? I would like one of each. Do you want one, Paul? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you, Mindy. So you guys did the AP last week. Uh, yeah, we so did. like when he then. It's like when Neto, so yep. do you, do you know how much was probably. coming back in? You weren't looking in for it, even though I asked so nicely several weeks in a row. <laughs> no, we didn't do it. I'm sorry. So nobody Would has like any it? idea. Like, you know, we'll, go, we'll go and do, we'll add it special and look it up and all that. But well, no, you were doing it last sorry. week. I would have thought, you know, seeing as there was a question Sounds that's been like asked. Sounds thrown under the bus now. It must be my turn. No, no. <laughs> wow! Was that like rude? I was being so nice to you. I just asked because you were doing it and, and you I knew I no, wanted right. the number. I apologize. Sorry. We wow. Didn't do it. We had a lot going on that day. Believe it or not, Mr. Thompson. What? <laughs> wow! I think you just got. We're doing a lot of bus throwing under here today. Yes, the bus has been running. <laughs> oh, <yes>. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Neto, would you like a turn? <laughs> Put the brakes on, guys. <laughs> um, I do have a question. <laughs> and I'm not interested in throwing anybody under any vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> when Mr. Small was here, he brought up the issue of $308,000. Everybody said, what the hell is that? Can explain that to me? I have no idea what he's talking about. Okay. <clears throat> I, I completely overheard... disagree with everything he was saying. Okay, because I overheard that group of men at one of our meetings talking about the road commissioners, which would have been our board of selectmen, taking money away from the road budget. Did that ever occur? The budget was cut by what Larry asked for. Okay. There was, was a difference. Cut. It wasn't, it, so he never had the money. <clears throat> no. Okay. That's my point. Did it was the money there for him to use? I think that's what they they were implying. So the money was never there. No, Tommy just used it. He put a budget oh, request. Was left. We well, used twenty eight thousand. Right. On what? He did more pay than that. They used what was <coughs> left over from the other roads. Right. To make up. Which difference. was still on the budget. Right. Yeah. <coughs> so the budget commit uh, uh, the road commissioner submits. Um, a budget to be approved or disapproved, right? Right. And it was cut by three hundred thousand dollars. From his request. <coughs> More or less. Okay. <coughs> the actual budget was down to seven hundred and thirty two, which is what you voted on. Okay. <coughs> but instead of having paving being a line in there to just spend for milly, it's now a CIP. Okay. So now it's set aside specifically for paving. Okay, this is what hundred and fifty thousand. Which hundred and fifty thousand, which is what we voted on. Right? So why so did that's the only thing I can guess? To me that's the only thing I can guess that, that he was talking about. I have no idea what he's talking mm -hmm. he about. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking a drink. Sheet, Do you have an okay, idea? Uh, no, you just don't get a drink. Huh? Yeah. No, no, I was just wondering if he might have some ideas. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Yeah, because that's one of the things he was talking to me outside. He was saying that. Uh, you guys were liars, and he said, well, what did they lie about? And he said, go in and ask them. And I said, well, I'm not going to walk in and ask them, hey, what did you guys lie about? Because I'm probably not going to get an answer. Well, there was a lot of chatter pertaining to that. Because I sat and was overhearing that chatter. Well, I didn't hear that chatter. Mm. Yeah, the, after that particular meeting you're talking about, yeah, I, know, you I was outside that. with them, and they, they were telling me that there was 300 thousand dollars taken from the roads budget to fund rescue right. and I said well where did it go because rescue never got three hundred thousand I know no 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 okay I don't get to say anymore <laughs> okay You got a bottomless bag in there, Ben. <laughs> <coughs> I'm looking for.
for one specific paper. <laughs> what? Oh, what is that? Oh, good. Thank you. Oh, where'd you get? Oh, yeah, this is what you part of that thing. I mean, a carpet. Thank you. Oh, which reminds me. It's a good thing you reminded me. Okay, so do we have a cemetery on River Road that Sandy just happened upon? I don't know if you saw me writing upon it. Beautiful little cemetery. It's the Richards Family Cemetery. And it is so overgrown. I mean, like saplings and branches. And I mean, I couldn't believe. And, it, and it, there's only one veteran's grave in there that's marked. And that's the grave of that John Richards, who was a Revolutionary War soldier. But just in one night of, re I mean, I couldn't research everybody, but in one night I also identified that Abraham Richards is buried there, and he was in the War of 1812 in some pretty impressive battles. And then uh, there was a Captain Levi Wentworth, who's, uh, he, there's a grave marker there for him, but there's also another grave marker in another cemetery for him. So they're sure that one was just put there as kind of a family memorial and one is actually his burial, but we're not sure which one apparently. But um, but nobody's taking care of that. Is there a reason for that? Is You know? Well, we we had uh, one of us left and was taking care of us. Was trying to figure all the mess out, Paul Philbrick. We just had a member of the Historical Society <coughs> come in a few weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, and identified 28 or 34 yeah. that we didn't know about. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so they're currently not in the bid to take care of. Yeah, so, because it's um, not fair to throw it on this person that bid. No, 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 no. Was I was just there was a lot of negative comments on your Facebook page. And actually, you. if you saw uh, almost jumped in there. one of the fellas the, that bid on it, yeah. he said to me, "Hey, wait a minute! I have that list, and that cemetery is not on it." And uh, some of the other cemeteries that people were complaining about weren't on that either. But uh, my question is this, uh, Teresa Brooks offered to come with me tomorrow and go cut all those little saplings out of there and get all those trees. And then uh, there's another young lady that's interested in helping us with the Colby Farm, uh, one on Center Road. Um, she, that place is a disaster area, and she's she said if we come down there next Tuesday, she'll work with us, we'll get that all cleaned up. It'll give us ladies something to do and keep out of your hair on a Tuesday. And, I would just check you know. with landowners. Well, yeah. that was the thing, is that we didn't know. I mean, this the Colby Farm one, according to this lady, Mary uh, Mikulski, right, yeah. was it? Uh, she uh, she said there's access actually is on her property and so and she's the one that's yeah. wanting to help us with that yeah. so that one's fine but how do I know like the the Richards one is like right on the side of the road can we go up there and clean it or is somebody gonna come and put a shotgun in my face oh, and say get off my property maps. I would check tax maps okay I who owns it and knock on a door okay because you don't have the right to trespass right exactly and that was that's my thing is that, you know, if it was on that cemetery map, then the person who had the bid would be responsible yeah. for doing it and they could go on it, right? Right. So that's why I said I'd come in and well, ask you guys if we can have permission to go on there well, and it's clean it. too, yeah. because if the town bids it, the town's responsible by state law to right. maintain certain cemeteries. So we, you could argue that. <clears throat> we oh, have the right to go in it. Supposed to be lot. veterans cemeteries veterans. the town is responsible for, right? So if we have a civil war, I mean a revolutionary war, a civil war and a war of 1812 veteran buried on the, the town would be responsible for Anything it, right? Anything older than 1882, I think it was. Anything? 1880. Before that. Yep. Well, the war of 1812 was ancient, before 1882. Uh, no, don't but, have to be a veteran. Yeah. Don't have to be a veteran. It's ancient burial ground. Okay, so any cemetery before that. So, by rights, the I mean, there are people buried there from the 1700s. So, so it should be town maintained. So, I guess what I'm asking you is, can we, I mean, we don't have to walk on somebody else's front lawn to get in there. It's right on the side of the road. So, we wanted to go in there and clean it up. and Weigh in. <laughs> weigh in. Is there a list of, um, can we have a list of the cemeteries that are now maintained by the town? I'd have to dig it 
Paul okay. Philbrook was taking care of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's his it I so believe it is. So I don't know if it's complete. I think it was. Well, the ones that were bid. Yeah, the, the ones that were bid is the because we don't want to go there and do what he's supposed to, the other company's supposed to be doing. But if there are other cemeteries and you know, people want us to come and help and clean it up, and boy, that's right up my alley because I'll take pictures yeah. of all the stones and research them and well, the one on you Dixon know. Road, I think it's on the Wyman land. So Nancy Wyman would be the person to contact there. And yeah. that was cleaned up by an Eagle Scout several yeah. years ago. Well, this Richards property looked like somebody, and I was assuming it must have been an Eagle Scout because of the sign. But yeah. it, that looks I'm like it was kept, it outside. looks like it was kept clean for a long time because all of the brush is all right around the same height, you know. Okay. So, But it's pretty bad now. I mean, you can't, it's pretty bad. It needs to be done. But Teresa and I are going to meet 9 o'clock tomorrow morning because that's what time I get back home. Bringing my grandson. We'll meet over there tomorrow and do it. Yeah, so I, I never got an answer though. <laughs> that kind of scares me. What's up? If we can go and at, at <laughs> least start with that one and then. Uh, you find out who owns it. We can't give you permission. Yeah. Well, you have to look at it. So even there. though the town would be responsible for maintaining it. You you can't give us permission to maintain it. Are we gonna hire you as employees? No, we're volunteers. Volunteers. That's what we're all about, so Mr. Heath. What about that? Volunteers. What about our volunteers? How does that work? I'm all for it. Do you're back to that. You're back. We're back to that old question. <clears throat> the same one that, that we had over vehicles and stuff like that. People were. Working around vehicles and responsibilities, liability, and insurances, and all that <coughs> stuff. I'm sorry, but I'm all for you doing it. We're yeah. not. We're yeah. not taking a vehicle on the cemetery grounds, you know, Tori. If you're feeling get hurt, I don't know where you would. You know what I mean? Right. Where do you fall in? Do you do you do you, do you get hurt? Do you make a claim from the town? Do you make, you so know, why don't we wait a week and why don't you ask the town council to write up a waiver that we're responsible with our own medical insurance? Because I certainly have good. Medical insurance. So. I don't even have co-payments. Lawyers to take care of. <clears throat> That's, we're talking a town here. We can't. <laughs> you can't just. Just go and take your chances and don't sue. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I, I would say knock on the nearest door and ask. How about the people yeah. that live right across the street? Yeah, I would think it's probably owned by your friend with the farm scene and she has a field on one side of it oh, and a well. field on the other side of it. Well, you know, there's Gallagher fencing on right to the right, left of that entrance to the mm -hmm. cemetery, which is a farm fencing. Right, that's farm what I'm saying. Who's there? I don't know either. But, uh, isn't it bad that you have to, like, fight well, with people to go and take care of a frickin' cemetery? Map, you'll be able to see who owns that piece of property. Yeah. I'll come in tomorrow map is and right there. see the girl. Right there. Yeah, and the town's map is right there. I glanced through that. I didn't see it listed, but you'll be you're better at researching than you yeah. have more patience. There's a list of let me show you. So if somebody was on that cemetery like visiting a grave and got hurt. Do you know anything about that, Mr. Neto? Well, on River, I think I don't know. On River Come on, Road. Ben, help me out here. <clears throat> on River Road, there's a little plaque along the road um, honoring a, a revolutionary soldier, John, John Richards. John Richards. No. I just happen to know. Where is it? It's oh, right, you know, when you're going down River Road, and you know that little farm with the donkeys and the pond and stuff on your left? Just before that field on the left hand side, you see a, like a brick wall, I mean, like a rock wall there. It's about four or five feet high. It's up on top of that rock wall. But there's uh, several interesting people buried there, actually. Well, there is a, a, a very expensive dungeon here. Gallagher's dungeon, I saw that. Um, Apparently somebody else must be on the road. Hey, why are you? I decided to make dungeons work for River Road. Actually, we go out and book and look and then refer it back to you. Mm. Oh, okay, this one. I do know. 
research that. Okay. The state trespass laws. State trespass. And yours mostly for hunters and fishermen. You're okay. protected by state law. The whole, you know, the landowner's protected. Mm -hmm. If you went hunting, so it's just the current or, list that we're going by. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's what we're going to Okay, so basically, if we go there and we're doing work and one of us gets hurt, the, we're responsible. Right, okay. So good, very good. We don't mind that. They're making me do more talking. Everybody's been doing that to you all day. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> Trying to find the minute, me, meeting minutes. That's what I have requested. I have requested that meeting. Um, yeah, that's true. I can check on the meeting. I have requested it, and then um, we brought Nancy in notice because she was chair. Gosh, I, don't, I haven't got a clue though. Let me search it. I might have been earlier than I told her though. Yeah, I think you're right. So I think it was shortly after I got voted in. So it might have been, been August. It might have been July, August. Mm -hmm. Late July, August. Maybe mm -hmm. mm -hmm. September. I don't think it was. No, I don't think it was late. Right. I don't think it was that late as far as October. Right. Right. Too far down. Um, you think so? You won, so maybe you two would be the next. Yeah, because Perkins has to be Perkins. Oh, okay. And that's too far down. It's kind of like right up here. Maybe the next one. Well, obviously it's not in order if I'm wrong. Uh, maybe T. Maybe it was before and I missed it. Was there information that you wanted? <coughs> we made a vote as a board then. Try T. Karen and myself. You would. And we never to. followed it. So I wanted to show these guys oh. that that had been voted on. Okay. <coughs> I wanted to discuss with you guys <coughs> going forward for this budget year. Probably following that pattern if you were still able to do that. It's it's more of a policy than it is anything. Are, are we talking on this already, or are we? No. Do you wait, do you want me to shut this off and be off the record for a minute? Or no, you? I'm okay. just gonna wait for voice. <laughs> if you can't tell, I have laryngitis. Huh? I, I know, but I didn't know. Everybody's saying yes. <laughs> Especially my kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I'm looking for 